assalamu alaikum hey guys welcome back to my channel i know it has been very long and i have been trying to make changes on this channel so today i'm going to have a book review yay look at the books remember this book that i told you guys that i bought okay so today we're going to have a book review of this box and i want to start with this one it says roses in the desert this book I am still trying to find my way about how I feel about the book but it is an amazing book it is a really amazing book like with every page that I read it makes me want to read more I don't want to drop it when I started reading the book first uh, it was after Isha it was at night so I was really tired that day and I wanted to finish the book it has how many pages over a hundred pages and I am one who like books like this I read them in a single like in a single setting i would just read a whole book like this but that day i was really tired i couldn't finish it i was almost halfway through it so i like the next morning i com i completed the book and then i was left like oh my god what just happened like the ending will leave you like i was not expecting that and i love books like this like books that you cannot predict their ending do you get what I'm saying? Like, I love books that I can that are unpredictable. Even though, like, you'll be curious to know what happens next, but uh, the ending would be, oh my God, I was not seeing that. Like, I didn't see that coming. So this book is about. Let me just read the. Is it epilogue? Yeah, I can't remember what this whole thing is called. We did it in literature when I was in JS1, I think. I've forgotten it. So let me just read it for you. Okay, it says, Roses in the Desert is set in the war-ravaged part of northern Nigeria. The book creatively highlights some of the destructive components of terrorism and incidents and also lays emphasis on the effect of trauma, a case that even a very strong emotion as love cannot subdue. In the well-plotted fictional piece, we are drawn into the two-year journey of two lovers separated by incidency, but each facing distinct circumstances in their quest to find each other. So yeah, I love this book and yeah, let's read a little bit about the author. Sani Muhammad Surajuddin fell deeply in love with books as a child and believes that reading is freedom. He was born and raised in Mina. He started his writing career as a poet and spoken word artist before shifting to prose fiction. He has a bachelor degree in horticulture. He loves flowers, wow. Roses in Roses in the Desert is his debut novel. So this book, I just love this book and I recommend, please, if you are in Nigeria, you can order this book. I can leave their Instagram handles. Yeah, both the writers, they are two different people. I can leave their Insta Instagram handles for you guys to check. Like, you can talk to them on Instagram and if you want to order, then you can order. I think so. Here it is, Roses in the Desert. I want to read a page for you guys but I feel like if I do that I'm giving you like a piece of it. I recommend that you guys please go and buy these books if you're in Nigeria and then read them. Yeah, let's move to the other one. Hmm. Oh I sis, I love this book. You guys, I read it actually. I know the writer. This one I know the writer. She's a friend. My brother actually introduced me to her. She is my brother's classmate and he introduced me to her because she's into poetry she's into writing you know and when we were introduced i had started writing down poetry i didn't know where to go about and she guided me her poetry actually guided me to where i am today so thank you so much naima i call her greeny because she loves the color green green is her favorite color so let's start with a little bit about our author Naima Abdullah Hisabo was born in Bochi and raised in Abuja, Nigeria. As a child, she loved reading and writing. Narr she loved reading and writing narrative essays. She eagerly started writing short stories for her classmates in Arrahman International School, Abuja. That's where my brother went. Yeah, he schooled there. And she proceeded to study education chemistry at Usman Naufodio University, Sokoto. She is a member of CAU, that's Caliphate Art and Literary Forum, Sokoto State. Her career in writing poetry began, began where she gathered a large online following with her fascinating works. Oasis, Oasis is her first published work. 
and I'm looking forward to more of your published works because she has a lot of amazing books on Wattpad. I stumbled upon this book first on Wattpad, that's where I knew her. Like, I knew her prose writing, I knew her poetry first before I knew that she wrote prose. So, this is it. So, a little bit through. Oasis is based. Thank you. So I have my coffee here and yeah. Let me just put in this. Oh my god. I am not a coffee person but today I really need coffee because I am going to be moving around a lot. And I need all the energy I can get and I don't feel like having that energy so I am going to be uh, oh my God, just the smell of coffee I love the smell of coffee but I am more I am a tea person but occasionally a coffee person occasionally like days like this days like this I would order coffee just to have that energy okay I think I'll keep talking about the book and taking my coffee. So, uh, Naima, this book is based about mental health and issues that really, uh, issues that are rampant in the northern part of Nigeria. And we rarely talk about this. Most books that you read about, uh, mostly, most books that I read, northern authors, they're based on uh, what love mostly but she talked about like issues I love it that she talked about issues like rape and mental health and that is our number one priority right now because we need to be sharing and spreading the awareness and you guys you know what they left me a very beautiful and sweet note like it was signed by the authors both authors Naima and Suraj thank you very much for this beautiful note Naima says for Rukaya, Black Rose. <laughs> Thank you for your unending support for making me write and keep writing. I hope you enjoyed the results. May Allah know guide you to a path where joys are endless and smiles never fade. Naima Abdullah Just look at it. Oh, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. And Surat actually left a note too and he signed the book so. He said to Sister Rukaya, I love your poetry. I hope you will love my book too. And trust me, Suraj, I love your book. I am in love with this book. And I recommend that you guys read these books. I'm just over the moon about these books. Like, I've been carrying them around ever since I got them. I've been carrying them around like my babies. So, this is my book review. And I hope you guys enjoy it. And it's time for me to take my coffee.